loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to create your own daytime and nighttime theme and as well as how to make them automatically change on its own. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. So if we wanted to create a daytime and nighttime theme, the first thing we have to think of are the wallpapers. So for me, I highly recommend these wallpapers from Sleepy Days. So you can find her on Etsy and she has these very cute wallpapers as well as icons. And it also comes with different widgets as well that you can use. So for me, I'm going to be using this one to set up my daytime and nighttime theme. And I really think it is one of her like best themes or one one of our best wallpapers that she has ever released on her shop and go ahead and look for her like other themes as well guys they are really very much worth it so if you're already done saving the wallpapers that you wanted to use, the next thing that you have to do is to create a new lock screen and home screen for both the daytime and the nighttime. So you just go to your settings and then create a new lock screen and home screen. So as you can see here, guys, I have two different lock screen and home screens, one for the daytime and one for the nighttime. So here is my daytime setup. Um, for the clock, I just picked this second font and I made sure to have the biggest size so i have a clearer view of the time and i pick one of the colors that are like a little bit dark and really visible so i just click this one and use the color picker to pick the colors that are already present on the wallpaper so once i'm done setting up the time the next thing that i'll set up is the lock screen widget so i always have the weather widget and of course this tiny bunny in here which is from the lock screen widget app and i highly recommend that app i mean it is paid or you can have it for free but it's very limited but getting the paid version is really worth it so by the way this lock screen widget here if you will press that one it will lead you to use the google translate so it's really also quite helpful So moving on with our nighttime theme. So this is how my lock screen looks and I just have the same settings as my daytime. It's just that they are different in colors. So for my clock, I wanted to have a lighter color of font since the sky is like way darker compared to the daytime. And I also have this lock screen widget which is a little moon so i just pick the colors from this um house or something um it's just a lighter shade of lavender and i think it really matches so good so after that one, this is how the home screen looks for our nighttime. I also love the color as well. So since we're done setting up our wallpapers, it's time to set up our icons and home screen widgets as well. So this is how my home screen looks. And by the way, guys, we just have the same home screen for both the daytime and the nighttime. But they still have a little bit of differences, which I'll be showing you guys in a while. But before that, let's go ahead and take a screenshot first of our empty home screen and for you to do that just click and hold on any part of your home screen until the icon starts shaking and just take a screenshot of the empty home screen that you have and you have to do this on both your daytime and nighttime wallpapers let me just remind you guys that when you're taking a screenshot for your um, nighttime wallpaper you have to make sure that the dark mode is on just so that you will get that darker shade of wallpaper for your um, transparency once you apply your widget so as you can see i have two different like wallpapers here that i have just taken a screenshot from my home screen so this one will help us to have a transparent background for our widgets so on my main home screen, you can find this clock widget. So all of the widgets that I'm going to show you guys today are from the iScreen app. So aside from those, um, which is like really from Apple. So this one you can find from iScreen. So I just um, pick some colors that I know would best suit for my wallpaper. So it depends on if I will have a lighter wallpaper, then I'm going to be picking a darker color of time and vice versa. So I'm just going to show you guys, um, this is the clock widget that I'm using and then I just 
pick like the colors randomly and I just uh, make sure that it will still be a match for my wallpapers and the theme that I'm going for today. So now that we're done setting up the clock, the next thing that I'll set up is this little lamp widget that I have here, which is from the ice cream. And under that one is this color widget as well, which has the calendar, which is really very helpful and handy for me because I really need to know what date it is today and stuff like that because I... It's really hard for me to keep track of the date. Anyways, you can set it up from the color widget. You can pick um, which widget you wanted to go for. If you just wanted to have the specific day or the current date. Um, or if you wanted to have like the entire month. And for me, I wanted to have this entire month um, calendar. And from there, I'm just going to be setting up the colors. I'll be picking the color which I know for sure would match my um, theme. So this is just where I got this little calendar. So on top of this calendar widget is this little lamp that I got from Ice Cream app and I really think this is so perfect for our theme. So if it's like nighttime, I can just turn on this one. As you can see, it's very cute. And when it's daytime, I can just easily turn it off as well. What I also like about this widget guys is that it has a clicking sound every time you turn it on and off. So I'm going to let you guys hear it. So now that we're done with the main home screen, it's time to move on with the second one. So on my second home screen, I just have this photo widget that I got from iScreen as well. And what I love about this is you can add up some effects just so that it won't look so boring. So if you go back to your iScreen app and click on photo, you will find this special effect photo. So for me, I really love to make use of this snowy effects because I think this is way cuter than the two other ones. And then after that, I'm going to be picking those widgets that are included on the theme that I purchased from Sleepy Days. So I'm going to use this one and the other one for the um, daytime theme. So I really think this one looks so cute. And by the way, this one covers up these contact widget that I have. So I have like four different contacts here, which I really talk to every day. So I just have like this photo widget to cover up this contact widget. But anyways, moving on, let's talk about this little badge over here. So by the way, this badge is just to cover up the contact widget of my husband. So I placed him separately because I wanted to have like an easy access to call him or to text him. And I have two different um, widgets to cover it up. I have this cute heart or animated heart and I have this little badge that has his animated picture. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this badge. So of course you have to open the eye screen and from there you can pick like different designs that you wanted to go with. Um, for me I love this circle shape and I think it really matches with the picture as well. So if you're going to click this badge over here, you can pick like different shapes that you wanted to go for. Let's say for example, you can have the heart or this rounded one. So I picked the rounded one because it matches better with the picture. And if you have the paid version of ice cream, then you can pick like different GIF here with some effects. Let's say for example, like a glare effect or a shiny effect of your badge. So for this animated heart, this one will automatically get saved on your widgets if you have picked some designs on the standby mode from the ice screen. So for me, since I have this heart and time which I use on standby mode, then I also can use this one separately on my home screen. So I'm going to show you guys some designs. Here it is. So if you pick this animated heart and use it separately on your home screen, then you can do that one just like what I have here. So now that we're done setting up the lock screens, the home screens, widgets, and as well as the icons, the next thing that we will do is of course to set up the focus just so that our theme can change automatically from daytime to the nighttime without us manually changing it. So first we have to go to settings and set up or make our focus profiles. 
So I'm already done setting up mine and I'm going to show you guys how I did it and of course what are the necessary settings that we have to change on the focus mode. So first you have to click this plus icon on top and after that one you have to click custom so then you can start making your own focus and then you can just pick any colors, any icons that you wanted to go for and add up a name. So for the icons guys, if you notice on the left upper corner of my phone, you can find this little like a sun rise icon so that one is the icon from this focus um, and so whatever icons you're going to pick it will show up on your screen so it goes the same with the name for your focus so whatever name you will put it will also be shown on your lock screen so this is the focus profile that I'm using for the daytime theme. So I'm going to show you guys the necessary settings that you have to change. So first, if you click here on people and then pick silence notifications from, make sure that there are no lists on um, or no contacts in here or else you won't be getting a notifications from those specific contacts that are being silenced using this focus mode. And then it goes the same with the apps. If you will click silence notifications from make sure that there are no apps in here or you won't be getting the notifications from those apps if you have some on the list let's say for example I'm going to show you guys as you can see there are some apps that pop up so these are the apps that I mostly use so that's why um, they're trying to silence it but then all you have to do is just to unmark or just remove them one by one just so that you can still receive all of the notifications on every apps that you have on your phone so moving on, let's now customize the screen. So since this is for our daytime focus profile, then we will be picking the screens for our daytime theme as well. So now that we're done customizing the screen, let's now turn on the smart activation. So this one is what's going to make the themes automatically change from daytime to nighttime. So we just have to click this add schedule so you can add a specific time as to when your theme is going to change or going to start and going to end and stuff like that. I think you guys understand. But anyways, for me, for my daytime, I have it 5 a.m. Since here in Sweden, guys, around 4 a.m., it's already very bright because it's summertime and of course I will have it end around 9 p.m. because here it's still very bright around like 10 p.m. at night anyways we have to mark all of the days because if we're like going to unmark one then this won't take effect on that specific day so always make sure that all of the days are marked and after that one we have to add some filters on it so let's say for example you click this dark mode you have to click enabled and always pick lights just so that if this one will automatically start then our phone will be on light mode as well so for the low power mode and the silent mode i just had them disabled because i'm not really using them at all so it's only the dark mode that i needed to set up so now that we're done setting up the focus mode for our daytime, it's now time to set up for our nighttime. So we just do the same thing when it comes to like this silence notifications. And then after that, when it comes to customizing the home screen, we just have to pick the home screen for our nighttime. So now it's time to turn on the smart activation and of course we have to add a schedule for this one and the schedule for our nighttime theme it will start right exactly when our daytime ends. So it starts around 9 p.m. and ends around 5 a.m. but of course you can pick your own time and then after that we have to enable this dark mode and the rest we can just like leave them as it is. So after this we just have to save everything and then now let's see if this this entire focus mode will turn on automatically. So I just changed the time manually to 8.59 and let's see if this one will automatically change once it turns 9 p.m. So as you can see guys from daytime theme it turned to nighttime theme and then we just have to change the widgets and turn on this little lamp. It's so cute I really like that one and yeah I think this um, entire focus thing really works so you just have to really um, follow everything follow the tutorial and you will get the same um, effect or the same automation as what I have right now. 
So I guess that's it guys for our tutorial today. So if you guys still have some questions, feel free to ask me on the comment section down below. And if you have any like suggestions as well or some recommendations, please feel free to comment it down below. Thank you so much guys for watching. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you and I hope to see you all on my next one. Bye!